Sauce on me. Sauce on me. I got drip. I got woo. Flood the wrist. It's homage to the. Hey kings and queens, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Neek. How y'all doing or whatever? How y'all doing or whatever? Ay, 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 ay. Hey kings and queens, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Neek here on any budgets. And on here we do cast up and budget and pay off right there and mind our business and not necessarily in them for orders, okay? So if that is something you are interested in, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on, leave your comment, like the video, all of the above, child, and let's get into it. But as you guys can see, we are doing my residual balance, baby. My residual balance for the month of April because, child, we are putting all our dollar coins, giving them a job, okay? Tell them where to go, what to do, because that's what we do as managers. So, without further ado, let's get into what the video. Now, baby, this might be the fastest video that you watch, child. Just, just being honest. This might be the fastest video that you watch. So, the reason being is because this is residual money. What a money reside, what a money reside. Where am I going? Oh, I am going here, okay. So, we're doing residual money, y'all. And residual money, it don't really have that much. We really don't have that much. So, we're going to zoom in because I love y'all all up in my business as usual. And then let's get into the video. Quick, straight, in a hurry, no problem. So, today is the 26th of April. So, this is my residual balance, 26th of April. And the reason I'm doing this video, even though there's barely anything to do on there, is because we always want to make sure that we complete every single dollar, like I said in the beginning, giving it a home, giving it a place to live, and so that it can be productive in our bills, right? Well, productive for our finances. So, um, in my bills account right now, I have a total amount of... $71.42, okay? So, that is the total that we're going to be working with. Yeah, $71.42. I promise y'all, that's it, that's all. Because that's my residual balance after everything, paying all my bills. And that's what's left over. So, expenses, I don't have any because, like I said, residual balance. So, my total is $0.00. So, we are left over with that $71.42. Now, this is a residual money from what I had to pay for my bills, okay? So, my elect electricity bill was lower than what I budgeted and my water bill was lower than what I budgeted. So this money was actually a part of my housing, a part of my housing um, calculation, the 65% for housing. And so this is that remaining money because those two expenses were lowered. And so because of that, because it was a new income or extra income, there's nothing going towards tides. And the same thing with groceries and hair care, groceries to hair care for my cash envelopes, there's nothing going towards them because I had already done the um, budgeting for up to the end of the month for all of these um, cash envelopes. So I'm not going to double dip and give them more money because... <laughs> We've already accounted for them, and so be responsible is what we're being. So there's nothing in my cash envelopes, and so that is $71.42. Okay, the same thing for my sinking funds. My savings have actually been completed since the first. Um, my 10% savings actually been completed since the first video, so these are not getting anything too, and I don't want to talk too much because that's just going to extend the video for no reason. So that is zero dollars as well, so we're still having a $71.42. And then budget, same thing because the part of savings, zero. And then $71.42. And this is where this money will be put. This is going to go into additional debt. And it's going to go for my Navy Fed credit card. Right? And I'm going to put that $71.42. And total, $71.42. And then remaining zero. Income source, $71.42. Expenses zero, cash envelope zero, sinking fund zero, additional savings zero, and additional debt seventy one dollars and forty two cents, which leaves us with a zero base budget. Now, 
Y'all might be like, Anik, why'd you make this video? One, because I had a budget and video to do today. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I have a schedule, and so every Thursday I post my budget. Every Friday I post my cash envelope stuff in, right? And so one, I have a schedule that says I'm supposed to post this video today because either I have income and I have the budget for or I have residual money and I have the budget for that as well. So I'm accounting for all of my money, all of my coins. Um, the second thing is to show you guys that, hey, even if you are doing it to one thing, still complete the budget sheet, right? Because it may not be what you... It may have nothing to do with cash stuff in or um yeah cash stuff in your cash envelopes or sinking funds and that's okay your goal is not to be cash stuff in your money your goal is to be completing your finances managing your finances and that's all i'm doing i'm managing my finances so even though i am not putting nothing towards cash envelope sinking funds additional savings because those are the feel good ones i'm making the right decision to put it towards my debt and do that 7142 there so that's why I'm making this video. That's why I made this video. And that's why I'm sharing this video with you guys. Because even though that is it, that is all, <laughs> I just really wanted y'all to, hey man, not everybody is a YouTube budgeter. Not everybody's on here sharing their budget. And so, as a YouTube budgeter, it's just my responsibility if this is something and this is what I put my content on to show you guys everything you know what well, well, okay the every was heavy the heavy the every was heavy we go you know but show you the things that are applicable to your life that make sense and to show you guys that hey i had money and i could have gone this you know saving challenges ride and put money oh my god in my 100 envelope challenge and i was like oh yeah girl but then i also had a goal that i've been telling you guys about which is to use the 70 um, 20 10 percent rule or in my case the 65 25 10 percent rule and to stick within that and so i didn't want to go outside of that because then that is just then i would be like Ugh. i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it gives me direction using the 70 20 10 percent rule and i appreciate it it makes me feel comfortable it makes me feel good i don't feel guilty that's the best thing about this i don't feel guilty for putting this 71 42 dollars to um my credit card and not putting it not divvying up between the entire thing because that's what a lot of us do or what we will try to do is like oh we have some extra money or we have some residual money let's divvy it up between everything no you do not have to do that and so that's why i did this video but yeah y'all that's it that's all i hope y'all enjoyed <laughs> I do. I hope y'all enjoy and it helps somebody and gave you insight. Do not feel guilty, y'all. Do not feel guilty for making the best financial decision, even though you want to be putting in towards saving because it's a feel good. You already put towards savings if you're following the 70, 20, 10% rule. Okay? You do not have to put more into savings because you already did the feel good already. Okay? So that's it. That's all. This is a longer video than needed to be, but it was an inspiration slash, hey man. Stay on your stay on your P's and Q's. So yeah. As always, I hope you guys um ate. Ate well. Ate good. Okay. Five course meals, three Michelin star chef, all of the above. And I hope you ate mentally, physically, socially, emotionally, and financially all of the above, child. And I hope you ate well filled. Okay. And so yeah, my name is Ani. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in another one. Bye. I won't get it. I'm out that huh. out of my mind. Can't even talk. Can't even walk. That little thing. But she ain't mine.